Ho ho holy sh**. Hey everybody, it's Sean with Game Time Gaming. Welcome back to another MKX Mobile video, and I never thought I'd be saying this, but Freddy Krueger is coming to the game. un believable That's right, out of nowhere, NetherRealm released this huge, jam-packed, nightmare-fueled stocking stuff of an update. And every part of this thing is just amazing. So you guys just sit back and relax because I'm going to break this thing down right now. Starting things off, everybody, is the introduction of Shao Kahn's Tower. This thing is a 100 rung ladder that you can play to earn the all new talent points, which you can then use to improve your roster through the talent tree. You can choose how you want to allocate these points as well, and ultimately increasing your damage output, bolstering your defenses, and quote, continue crushing your opponents. Next up is again, the release of Freddy Krueger. You guys, we are now getting access to characters that are not even available on the console version. Just gonna let that sink in for a second. That's amazing. Freddy's gonna have his own challenge as well as an early access pack. Personally, I cannot wait to team up with some of the other nightmare machines in this game. Next up is the release of the Holiday Pack. Just like last year, all you need to do is play the game and you'll be given a free pack daily to open. My first pack I opened, I got 12 souls, which isn't too bad. And if that wasn't enough, there's more. In addition to the release of Freddy, they're also adding a new Diamond Tier Bounty Hunter Aaron Black and a Gold Tier Spec Ops Scorpion. And an Elder God, that's right, Elder God Kenshi. And he'll have his own challenge as well. And finally, you guys, it looks like they're introducing new double experience point bonus events and they moved the classic Sub-Zero and classic Scorpion characters to the Faction War store, as well as adding two new equipment cards, the Devastator and Blaze's Life Force. And one final note, it appears they removed the console unlocks and are now just offering them through Tester Luck. Whew, holy crap, that was a lot of info. Interestingly enough though, there was no mention of the classic Sonya or Cold War Sub-Zero challenges, but I'm guessing we can just still expect those challenges to play out and bring us into the new year. Another thing we can be certain of is seeing those new characters and equipment appearing in Faction Wars completely maxed out, I'm sure, as well. Which brings me to, I guess you could call it a soapbox, but I really hope they do something about the amount of hackers you're starting to see in this game because if you haven't noticed, every time they do a major upgrade and come out with more powerful equipment and characters, it just increases the gap of a fair fight to people like you and me who are just respecting the game and trying to play it how it was meant to be played. Um, I don't want to get into a huge rant about that, but I know a lot of you share the same opinion and I also know it's a real problem. Literally four hours last night after the update dropped, I was seeing fully fused Blaze's Life Force cards uh, equipped to level seven Relentless Jasons. Um, on the bright side, this is definitely going to make for some interesting Haction Ward videos, so stay tuned for that. So, okay, enough of that. Let's take a closer look at some of these new characters and equipment cards that they just came out with. So starting off with this new Spec Ops Scorpion, he is just one badass looking Scorpion, in my opinion. His passive is called Tactical Extraction, and that is Scorpion saves each teammate from one death blow, then counteracts the opponent. Uh, Spec Ops teammates steal power on tag ends. Let's look at his uh, specials. They are Spear, uh, Judgment looks like a new special, special number two, and then obviously his X-Ray is the same. So he is a martial artist slash Spec Ops tier character as well. And speaking of new badass looking characters, that brings us to our next new Diamond Tier character who is Bounty Hunter Aaron Black. Now check out his class, he's actually considered a nomad, so that means he can blend in with any of the other classes, which is a pretty cool new thing that they came out with. So let's look at his um, passive here, so it's called Gun for Hire. Aaron Black has a 30% chance to give covering fire to his teammate when he tags out, and to support a teammate when, he, when an opponent tags in. Uh, like I said, Aaron Black can join any class, so that's pretty amazing, and I guarantee you, you're going to see a shit ton of Aaron Blacks in Faction Wars totally maxed out. I can just guarantee you that. So look forward to that. His um, specials look new. Swing Shot, his first special, and his second special, Deal and Lead, are both new looking. Uh, his Trick Shot X-Ray is the same as before. So nothing new as far as the X-Ray, but man, what a badass looking character. And really excited to not get him when I try to get <laughs> uh, an Elite pack. I just get... <laughs> You know, the, the drop rates are terrible. So anyways, i uh, really excited about that though. All right, and to finish things off, let's look at uh, the two new equipment cards that they added to the Faction Wars store. First one being the Devastator. It looks like a Conan the Barbarian style sword, but it has a 30% chance to steal 50% of the enemy's power at the start of the match. That's just, that's pretty brutal. And uh, that's gonna suck when that happens to you, I can guarantee you. And if the opposing team shares the same class, uh, they receive a 20% health and 20% damage boost as well as a bar of power. And that obviously unlocks at the full fusion level 10. So uh, that's a pretty pretty impressive card in my opinion. And uh, I will be spending my blood rubies on that when I get it because I do want that on my in my collection. So on to the next one. And that is called Blaze's Life Force. 
This has a 50% chance to apply burn to the active enemy at the start of the match. I actually had this happen to me last night in Faction Wars. I didn't know what the hell happened because my Injustice Scorpion just immediately caught fire right at the beginning of the match. I was like, what the hell? But then after the match, I went back and looked at their cards, and yeah, they have it a, had a fully fused Blaze's Life Force. So anyways, then you get a 5% fire damage boost on top of that. So if you actually add that into Injustice Scorpions, he already has a 25% increase in damage for people that are on fire so add this on top of it there you're looking at 30 percent uh that's going to be a pretty impressive card to add to him just in general so let's look at the rest of it 100 percent chance to apply power drain to the active enemy at the start of the match unlocks at fusion level 10 and that also happened to me so right off the bat i was just like what the hell i'm on fire and i lost all my power so anyways that does it guys the uh, that's a pretty impressive update in my opinions and it i had no idea it was coming i don't know about you guys but I, I really had no idea that this was coming uh, i knew that they're having some problems with the classic Sonya challenge but i didn't think they'd drop anything like this until we got closer to the new year so so what do you think about the new update everybody i'd love to know what you think so let me know in the comments below uh do you agree with me with they need to tighten up on the hacking a little bit uh, what do you think about the new characters uh do you even really care about uh, classic Sonya anymore is she old news when this drops uh, this kind of stole the thunder from that if, if you're asking me but anyways awesome update can't wait to see these characters in action uh and again just like to know what you guys think of it so again this is sean with game time gaming and thank you everybody seriously i have the best subscribers you guys are all awesome but seriously thank you everybody for watching and subscribing the people are going to be playing this game the network's just become smarter and smarter and basically robots um, and google bots are going to take over the world once it becomes self-aware so all that happening just because of this game it's amazing.